All right, so I'm at work. I'm bored. So I'm going to jump on the bandwagon of people talking about the 10 things they hate about their bike. Now, first, like every other person says, I love my bike. It's the It was the bike I've always wanted, and it's the bike I have now. And I would change some things about it, but it is still the best bike for me, I feel. And I like it a lot. But, of course, nothing is perfect, so there's certain things wrong with them. I'm going to go through 10 things, mostly nitpicky things. Like, there's not a lot wrong with my bike, so. First thing would be this thing. It also connects right here. Communications and all that. Biggest downfall with this is this thing connects by Bluetooth to your phone. And you can get calls to your phone. You can get text messages. You can read that. You can read the text messages on here if you're at a stop, which is good, and it also reads them out loud to you. And you can also get phone calls. Only problem is this is a road glide. There are one, two, three road glides above this. There's a road glide. This is this one. There's a road glide special, which is has a painted interfering and an upgraded version of this road guide ultra, which has a tour pack come with it. And then there's also the CVO, which is just the best uh, best possible road glide you can get. Problem with this is the road glide and the road glide special. There is no way to answer the phone calls and talk back with the stock system. With the ultras, this gets replaced with a different one that has a jack for a, an intercom system that Harley will give you if you buy an ultra. And there will also be one back here for the passenger to connect to. You, that way you can talk to each other. And also, if you get a phone call, you answer. It's like it's like a Cena headset that's that's wired to your bike. But without heavy modification, there is. I told when I took this apart to move the handlebars, I saw the cable that would be used for it, and somehow that needs to snake up into up under here, go down through here, and come out here on the ultras. But there is no way to answer through their system as a stock bike for this one or the special. So you'd have to go to an ultra to be able to do that. Which is lame. It shouldn't be, even be a feature if you can't do if you can't even do it without that modification. That's the first thing. It's kinda of nitpicky. If you have a CNET it's not even an issue. Next thing, which is just an issue in general with Harley stuff, is the cost of certain things. This tour pack does not come with my bike. I added this. I found this thing on Craigslist because someone took it off of their bike because of this scuff mark right here. This scuff mark and this one too. Guy didn't want his tour pack anymore. He replaced it, got a new one. So this one is, this one was from an, from an Ultra. It was pre-drilled out. So there's still holes here for a rack on top of here. There's still holes here for the speakers, still holes for the backrest I haven't put on yet. And I have to do all that still. The box by itself from Harley, if you get just this box, the, top, the lid, and the bottom, no latches, no hinges, not the, no connection for it. It's nine hundred dollars for a square piece of ABS plastic. That's ridiculous. You can buy them online. You can buy fake ones and all that, but that's just that's just wrong for it to cost that much. And that's known that they cost that much. So when I got this, to be able to put this on my bike, I had to buy this bracket that attaches to these four these four connectors on the bike luckily after 2015 and later they started coming with with these they didn't come with these before you had to add them on yourself so not only did i have to get that bra that bracket i also had to buy a hinge kit i just got a black one because it was there it's the only one they had hinge and latch kit Latch kit didn't come with a key. I had to buy order a key, especially it's being made for my VIN number, which makes sense. You have to do that. You have to have it made for your bike so you can use the same key on all of them. And also to connect this bracket, there's four screws. Didn't come with the screws to do that. I had to find them. I have, luckily I have a crap load of screws just laying around. So I just connected that myself. Oh, goodness. 
and just Harley stuff in general just costs a lot. So I'm happy my bike came with saddlebags, but I added these on here, these lid covers, because I kept scratching that one with a bag on my back because I didn't have a tour pack to carry all my stuff with me. And this is a problem that only pertains to me because I carry so much stuff when I go to work. But I go to the gym after work and there's so much stuff. I have my work, my I do, I'm a security guard. I have my belt, my shirt, my flashlight, and all that, all my work stuff. I have my food for work. I also have my gym stuff. All the gym stuff goes in here. And before, I just carried a gym bag on my back when I rode, and that caused all these kind of scratches. So I had to get this to cover those up. So, it's, 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 I'm lucky I found it on Craigslist because it's like $400 on Craigslist. A used one, but it was still another 200 to be able to put it on my bike, which that's a lot. Next, look at cheat sheet here. Next is oh, the exhaust, the fun stuff. Now, because I live in California, their st stock Harleys are so choked and just held down to be able to pass certain the carb laws and certain certain like noise level, certain noise level permits like can't be above 90 decibels which is nothing so the stock exhaust that comes on on the harleys is really 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 restrictive the first thing every person does when they get a harley is they replace the exhaust they either replace the whole system or they just replace the mufflers i just replaced the mufflers because that's all i needed I'm not worried about the speed on that yet, but I can still do that later if I want to. But the fact that it has to be with that, with how lean the bike is made, if you want to replace the whole system, you have to get a power commander, which can't be sold here in California anyway. These mufflers can't even be sold here, which is ridiculous. You have to, to get it to where it would run in other states, you have to buy the mufflers, buy the system, and buy a fuel pack to change the amount of fuel that is used in your bike. Or just take it to a dyno person to do it for you. Which is just... Ugh. But performance isn't that much of an issue with this bike, so I'm not really... Not that big of a deal to me. Along with that, it's kind of like two-part thing, is the sound that the stock bikes have. Stock, this bike is not near... Is, is quieter than a stock sport bike. Which is just wrong. If you ride a Harley, that's just that's just wrong, and should not exist in your life. And I understand that they have to do that to meet certain requirements. And it's more of an issue with the law itself, as opposed to Harley having to comply with them, because it only makes sense to do that. You have to. Next is security. Okay, this one is good and bad. If now when you buy a bike, it comes with two key fobs and two keys. If you do not have the fob near the bike, the bike will not start if you do not have a pin. You have to have a pin to, to turn it on. So right, I don't, I never even, I don't lock my forks or anything because I can see my bike. I'm usually, see that golf cart? That's usually where I am. I'm usually right here next to I can see my bike, so I don't worry about it. You can lock the forks and all that, but if you wipe this off, try to turn it on, the key's not near it. It'll say, enter pin, and I'll have to enter the pin to turn it on. But the issue with that is, like, that's only with this bike specifically or other touring models. Like, my friend has a 72, and there is a keyhole on the, on the forks. Turn the key, put the key in, turn it, and then you do all the starting stuff where you turn on the on switch and then you press the start button and all that. I feel like that, that should be how it is on all of them. I see. Like, I understand why it's not a th why it's not a thing on this one, but I also would prefer it to be like that. Or I could just have a key, turn it, and the bike turns on. And if I don't have the key, then I can't turn it on. Or I could still do it, but it'll just take forever. So turning the bike on should be easy. It takes a little bit to turn on. I'm probably gonna do it in this video just to just to do it, but. Another issue is part of that security system itself is you need a pin to turn the bike on. If you don't have the um, don't have the key fob with you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
put the pin in. Oops. And the problem I have with it is is um that they all have the same default pin. So if you had if I go onto a Harley lot at night and see that how it's now I can turn it on. If I go into a Harley lot at night and I sit on they're all set to one three one three one three or one three one three one three one. That's one three over and over again until it's empty, until it's done. If I'm able to go, I can go on any Harley, new Harley, and said that that shouldn't be a thing. It should be in your owner's manual. That's default pin, and you can change it. Like how most cars have an electrical system that you can turn on, and or the computer module thing itself to reset it, or security codes and all that on the computer itself. It should be specific to that bike, and you can change it if you want to. While the bike's on, I'll do the this one real quick so I can turn it off. Is the rear lights? That's all I get. One, two, three on the bottom, and then two side ones. I feel like it's enough, but I've been told by my mother and other people that you can barely see those rear lights, which is kind of um, it's kind of scary because I ride at night most of the time, but my bike's loud anyway now, so I'm not really worried about it. But more rear lights or an option for more lights which they do have as a stock option would be better as opposed to having to buy and modify your bike. Next. Oh, this one. Next is the bike uses air shocks in the back. And to do that, of course, you need to adjust this valve stem. Would it be a valve stem? Yeah, it's a valve stem. And to get to it, most of the time you would take the bag off just quick release and you would put the you take this out which doesn't come with your bike you have to get it yourself anyway like all the other fun stuff you have to connect it to here and fill it up problem is is you can do it just like this but it's so tight with my big hands it's almost impossible they say you can do it not taking the bag off I call them a bunch of liars because you know just know Full grown man, and my fingers don't fit through there. That is one of the most, probably the most nitpicky things of this entire 10 things I hate review here. Talked about the key. I don't know why I, I did talk about the key. Yeah, I did talk about the key, about how it should, should be able to just put it aside. Heat. Okay. The issue with this bike is it produces a lot of heat because it's a V twin, 1,690 cc motorcycle makes sense. There's no shield right here on a trike on a tri glide ultra. There is a shield right here to protect your leg. You feel this? This is I got to work. What time is it? Right now, it is. I'll show you. It is 3.19 in the morning. It's a helicopter. It's 3.19 in the morning. And I got to work at, what time was it? Like 9.30? And I believe park my bike, do stuff, whatever. And at midnight, I move it over less than 200 feet away. This is still warm. I can still feel this now. I'm not even going to touch the exhaust pipe because I can feel the heat off of it that's that's a lot of heat that's going to make and just the, again they do sell a shield but it should come with a shield it goes right here and just covers your inner thigh just a little bit <laughs> so anything else battery last thing to get to the battery you would take this strap off unscrew this then you have an opening to all the electronic stuff. I ride at night, so I got a uh, heated gear. He I have heated glow, so I got a heated gear plug onto the battery. To get to the battery, there are one, two, four plugs you have to pick 
there's a plate on in there and the plugs are kind of pressed press fit into certain spots on that plate what you have to do is you have to pull each of those up separate the and then unclamp them move them to the side then unscrew that plate lift up the plate and then you can get to the battery terminals on the dynas and soft tails it's right there you take this side thing off and the battery's right terminals are right there you can get right to it it should still be like that it is takes forever it takes i say forever it takes like 10 minutes to get to the battery when it should take less than 30 seconds <sighs> you know what that i still love this bike it's still my favorite bike of all of them it's the one i it's the one i wanted from when i started it's like i want this one i want this is the bike that i wanted and i got it but it doesn't make it immune to having issues again most of them are really nitpicky but yeah those are the 10 things i hate about my 2016 harley road glide